Hi guys, welcome to episode 46. Uh, we start this episode off with some interesting transfer news. Um, so Coventry City have come in for Brandon Barker. Now they originally came in for 2.5, uh, no, no, sorry, 102, I can't remember, I think it was 250k for him. Um, and I was like, yeah, if you give us a mill, I might let him go. Um, He's not playing a lot. He's playing well when he has played for me. We got him for free. Um, you know, kind of like, oh, you know, if they come in with a mill, then we'll let him go. And I think, I think I'm going to let him go. I think I'm going to let him go. I have made a cheeky little um, loan bid for backup, just in case stuff goes a little bit pear-shaped because um, we could definitely uh, we're, we're probably all, it's only because um, McClellan's off um, online I guess I could recall him but other than that down here we've got Harling um, who's actually out for 10 days so we could be a little bit light there but either way we'll go forward uh, we do have Wednesday sorry just on that, which just thrown me with that transfer news. Last episode, we only squeezed the four in because, nah, my fault. Portsmouth, we beat Millwall, which brings us to this game against Wednesday. Nil or draw with Swindon, and 2-1 one, one lost to Cardiff, which uh, put them a point behind us. Anyway, fourth round of the FA Cup against Sheffield Wednesday. FA Cup still on a weekend, which is excellent, so games aren't thick and fast. Um... Last game, I have decided to drop Oliver Creed. Um, so he will not play this game. Um, and Simone Gans has a slight injury. So they will be the only changes then. I'll take Bark off the bench because I don't really trust him during the contacts, contract stuff. Um, past meetings with Wednesday um, they've never beaten us, they've only ever taken a point of us, so relatively confident today, we're at home and hopefully we can go I had another bid come in oh, far out for my right back, Gamez Hames, Hames, I keep calling him Gamez, it's probably Hames um, I think for maybe two 200k this time it was from Blackburn and I was like no give me two and a half million and they said no and he's still a little bit in a strop hopefully that'll go um, why haven't we scored yet I don't know they've only had one shot on target and it is gone in obviously so oh I'm not enjoying that I did not enjoy that first half of football it was te freaking terrible um and he's on a five. He was on a five at half time last time. <sighs> I mean, come on. We are peppering them. <laughs> yes, Macaulay Bourne. Is that their goalkeeper? Yes, it is. All right, let's look to make a change. Billy, they have a thigh. He has a thigh injury. We'll get him off for Cookie Zalza. Um, Jamal Lowe is playing crap as well. Like I've got no one's coming for him. Um, I am going to take Jozo off anyway. And we'll go with that. Hopefully, I don't really want to replay. That'll be annoying. Ugh. We'll throw everyone up. It's not going to do anything. There's not enough time left, but... Oh, come on, come on. Yo! Gookie! <laughs> Gookie Zalza on the 90th minute. And we really should have won that game. We had 10 bloody shots on target. Fran Hammers again, what a great game from him. Do not leave. We love you. Um, thank God for that. I did not want to replay. That would have been awful. Um, and we're through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. So excellent start to the episode. 
Um, and hopefully we can go from there. Our fifth round. Excellent. That's really good. I'm really, really, really pleased with that. Did want a decent FA Cup run. Now it's time to start drawing some big boys um, away from home. Maybe? No? Mm, we don't really need the money. Um, it would be nice. Excuse me. Um, but we'll see. Oh, look. Making more money. Just and oh, He is one of the better players that they've recommended. And he's still crap. Really, I wouldn't sign some of these guys for a conference team. Barnsley coming in, th coming in a bit thick and fast now. 1.2 is not good enough. Not for Sammy. Not for Sammy. Go away. Go away, Bansley. Um, here we are, FA Cup. Of pool. Oh, that would be a tasty one. Oh, Brentford. Yeah. Chelsea, that would be pretty good too. Here we are. We've drawn it. We've drawn it home. Again, drum roll, please. Oh, Man United. So we're at home, which is disappointing. It would have been better to draw them away from home. Uh, anyway. It's a bit of a derby, I guess you could call it. Our first kind of derby against a, a, a big club. We may even squeeze that one in this episode. That would be a great way to finish with a, um, a great win over Manchester United. That would be awesome. Um... Still on a Saturday, which is good, and we've got Millwall on Tuesday. We'll rest everyone up for that. But well, let's fly through these uh, next two games against Borough and Colchester. Um, yeah, um, we're coming to the end of, of the window, um, so I'll pause it because it's going to take some time, and I'll meet you uh, for the Borough game. All right, guys, back for the borough game. Um, so, transfer window did did close. Did did, did close. Um, Brandon Baker Barker ended up going to Coventry. <coughs> Got a big boost on his wages actually, and we made a million off him. So that was all right. And uh, in return, we got uh, Jermaine Halton Halton from Motherwell. Just uh, just as a bit of cover. Um, yeah, he's he's just. Uh, He's just really in there um, to cover. He'll go down to the reserves and probably won't get too much game time. Right, Borough. Tough one. Tough against Borough. We've only ever beaten them once. Um, so hopefully we can uh, repeat that as well. Getting a lot of interested people in our players. Uh, last game, um, Macaulay Bomb was good. Um, yeah, McConnell, he's really struggling a bit, and Chuck Gann's back on the bench, everyone else is at full fitness, um, Bello did a good job, I only bring Creed back into the fold, Hammers still unhappy, Ugh, come on mate, come on mate, chill out, come on, indispensable, you are, do you want a new contract, no, alright, just deal with it mate, he'll probably... It'll calm down in a couple of days or weeks. That's not the start we wanted. Bloody Josh Murphy. Oh, they've also got bloody Davy Proper. Quality signing. Three million as well for him. He is decent. But Trebelli gets it straight back. Not straight back 14 minutes later, but anyway. Felt like straight back, so I was faffing about. Um... Cardiff must be losing, I think. Yeah, they must be losing in their game, which is good. I'll take a draw if they lose. Um, pretty even first half. Oliver Creed getting a five again, which is excellent. <sighs> Macaulay bomb with a penalty. That's good. Oliver Creed on a five again. Hammers. He's just super tired. 
We've got to take him off. We've got to take him off. He's on bloody five. He's ridiculous. And I will take James off as well. So a couple of defensive changes. Hopefully <clears throat> they don't cost us as they can do, I feel, sometimes. But um, we look to be holding against Middlesbrough here quite well, especially against Davi Proper. Do. Oh, we've got another penalty. Yeah, 15 goals. Macaulay Bond even gave him a little clap then. And then Clark. <coughs> wow. Middlesbrough just kind of capitulated there at the end, which was excellent. Um, another solid win for us. And Cardiff lost, which was even better because now we stretch that back up to four points. We are going well. Let's go. Let's keep going. Colchester. Uh, bloody... Colchester, who we we just cannot beat. We just cannot beat them. I mean, they've only ever beaten us once, but it was an important win because we lost out on like an FA Cup. Excuse me. Um, oh, let's have a quick drink. Uh, FA Cup. I think away to Liverpool in the end, but yeah, since then they've just been a bit of um, a nemesis. Uh, yes, Ansu Fati is great. Um, come on, more players with. Uh, he's pretty good, hey? He's not bad. Add him to the shortlist. Where's that? It's Iran. Iranian. He'd get a work permit, wouldn't he? I mean, he's got to be, like, way better than Ollie. I worry about old Ollie crapping in the Premier League. Yeah, he's three stars better than him. <coughs> yeah, we could afford him, but... Hey! Carlos Devez coming in as a coach. It's interesting, I mean, yeah, just, like I said, that little trick, he's a scout, and sometimes you get scouts that have really decent um, coaching abilities, so you can quite easily pick them, um, pick them up because they want to come to you to be a coach, so that's good there. Um, good stuff, because I think we've only got three coaches and one assistant manager. And we were just slightly below that magic 50 number. Um, if you don't know what I mean about that, um, I think I explained it in one of my very earlier videos, but just it's a quick overview. Basically for training, you need to have your coaching outfit players and um, coaching goalkeepers here. They've got to be all these ones here got it total up to 50 so if you were to add up these for instance 10 plus that 24 um, 35 50 we're all good there kill is just a little bit extra and then the goalkeeping one adds up as well and apparently that's the best way to get um, the most out of your coaches Ooh. I'm sure this to get the most out of your coaches um, to help your players players progress. So, I think there's been some actual stuff, stu studies, Harvard studies. No, I think I remember reading somewhere that someone actually like compared lots of data from running, um, obviously running the game with training like that and not training like that and how players progressed and there was... Um, I think oh, there was an increase in players when you have that uh, over 50. So that's how that works. Anyway, back to back to this. Just doing that weekly save that I have set up in there. Um, don't want to be losing that. Um, it's Wednesday. What have we got? We've got it's Saturday. All right, I'm gonna pause. Hi guys, and we're back. Uh, it is game day, but Preston North End have come in for a 
Um, post transfer window bid for Kuki Zalza for 425k, which is an interesting amount. Um, we got anyone who'd be interested in? Probably not, because Preston are a bit crap. But you know what? I don't want to sell Kuki Zalza because he's an important first team player. Um, all right, Colchester, our nemesis. Unchecked Creed, two fives in a row, mate. You can't have that, especially when I got Manchester United coming up. Wow, two minutes. We're getting really good at that, actually. Letting in a goal in the first five minutes of the game. We three minutes against Bury last last uh, last game. Um. I don't want to lose against Colchester. Cardiff drew their game there, so like 67, six points ahead of them. But <clears throat> I bet you Colchester bloody beat us here. I bet you they do. Like, I bet you they do. <sighs> you are absolutely kidding me. Holy crap, it's on a four. <sighs> He's on a four. Far out. <sighs> I should probably take him off when he's on a four, but... I feel like we might be able to at least try and... Oh, I had a penalty turned down then as well. Just try and maybe grab... I mean, there's a wasted substitution taking him off. I mean, we've got to try and get goals. And we haven't... Freaking Colchester, honestly. I can't believe this. They really, really are the thorn in our side. That game was awful. Absolutely awful. It's not what you want leading up for a game against Manchester United. Right. You know what? That was crap. Feels you've been treated fairly. You know what? Shut up. Shut up with your treating unfairly rubbish. Bloody got Man United next. Thank God Bruno Fernandez and Paul Pogba are out. But right, of course it was Colchester, honestly. <laughs> just just cannot beat them. We just cannot beat Colchester. That's now I believe that's now what five times we've played them? They have two wins and three draws over us. We need to like four draws in six games. It's ridiculous. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. Stop finding all these crap players. I can find all these crap players. I don't need you. Oh, he's maybe not. I'm just, I'm just angry now after that game. <clears throat> right, Man United on the Saturday. Oh, yeah, it's just really like, it's just really annoying me that has. Oh, I'm in second now. Freaking Colchester, they're getting relegated. I really hate that team. <laughs> Anyways, God, there's some Bournemouth Norwich down here struggling. Is that a contract? Except he's 30 years old. Not going to get him. All right, I'm going to pause it and uh, bring on, bring on United. 
Alright guys, back for the United game. Uh, this is a huge one. We have never played United, shockingly. Um, they have Bruno Fernandes and Paul Pogba out, which is good. Um, my goalkeeper's in assault, because he got a 5 last game, because it was crap. So, but I think I'm still going to play him. Uh, I am going to put Creed on the bench, actually. Bello is out injured, so... That makes that decision there for me. And we're going to line up like this. See what we can do against the mighty United. They're playing a strong team. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty strong team they've got there. But I don't know. I mean, we just... I feel like we just need a bit to make up the numbers at this point against United. Um, this is probably the end of our FA Cup run, I would say. Um, although we have gone 19 minutes and they haven't scored yet. And we seem to be peppering their goal. David Haya is in uh, career best form. But it's only going to take them to have one or two shots and, um, and they'll be ahead then. Really need to start making some of these count before half time, but we have dominated that half. It's absolutely amazing. It's weird. Pietro Trebelli getting all the shots in there. Um, we're looking pretty good otherwise. We keep going like that. We might actually nick one. Man United bringing on some big guns down in Martial, I think. <sighs> Martial only could have finished it. Wow. If we can get a. <laughs> Just as I say, if we can get a replay here, um, bloody Neymar goes and scores. Um, let's take off Jamal Lowe. Jobson's playing crap. Um, and Gans on from Macaulay Bond. And that's obviously their first shot straight in, in goal. So, and that is probably to be the end of it. I can't see us getting... Oh, Drabelli! With a late one. Now... We, we try and go for a win here, or do we... Oh, we squirmed loose. Oh, my hands just went over my mouth. We just got a penalty. We just got a penalty in the 86th minute. Let's... I don't think this does any difference. Shouldn't do. Let's just leave it. Resume the game. Save the penalty. Tahaya saved the goddamn penalty. Oh. Oh my god. What a game. We had that. That was our game. That was our game. Jeez, we've got some injuries here. But that was our game. Still couldn't even get a full crowd. Oh, I missed the penalty. Oh my god. Gens ran up. Gens missed it. They saved it. Oh. That's gutting. Oh. No. And we got. Them on a Tuesday after we played Brentford and before Brighton. Wow. We had the win. We should have won that. We should have won that game. We've lost one of our better central defenders. I know he's not playing too great out for a while. That's gutting. That is so, it's just. We. Macaulay Bomb would have probably slotted that home, I reckon. I reckon Macaulay Bomb would have slotted that one nicely in past, uh, past a hair. And we wouldn't be uh, in this situation of having a replay. At least we get the replay at Old Trafford, which is a bit of a money spinner for us, hopefully. So um, that's the plan with that one there. I just saw, saw that penalty come up. I was like, oh. And that was, uh, oh, that's good. 
rearranged game there. I don't think that was on there though. Alright, a mill war on Tuesday. I'm going to probably have to rest some troops for that game. Um, definitely. <coughs> I'll have some... Alright. If we can get past Man United, we will end up with another home draw against... <sighs> Chelsea or West Ham. I mean, there's no easy games at this point. Really, is there? Probably be Chelsea, to be honest. Quarter final. <laughs> Final, that'd be a tasty, tasty. That'd be, I'd, I'd be happy if we got to the quarter final, and we should be in the bloody quarter final as well. Missing a penalty is uh, missing a penalty. It's not the crap player. Oh, missing a penalty that is a uh, that is a sin, sin and a half. I could just Oh, I still, I'm still in shock about it. Anyway, anyway, we'll play this Millwall game, uh, and that'll be the last. Um, and that'll be the end of the episode. Um, next one though, we will have that replay against Man United at Old Trafford. So, like I said, get a bit of cash from it. Worst case. Um, what's encouraging though is they did play a good squad. Um, and we we took them all the way, and uh, should have should have had it should have had it. As you can see, I'm still filthy about it. Um, anyway, Millwall, 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 Millwall. So we have we got, we got Brentford on the Saturday as well. So yeah, we're gonna rest some players. Um, A lot of players, a lot of players being rested here. Um, both wingers as well. All right, so um, Page at left back, Clark there, um, McCormack, um, Breary, um, someone to play on the left. It's gonna have to. It'll be him, uh, and on the right will be. Zalza, and then on the bench we'll go Walsh, Low, um, and then defenders wise, let's go Henderson, <coughs> and we'll also chuck um, Dude Lou, where is he? Do we want Liam Smith on the bench? I'm gonna give that guy shot on the bench, let's go for that, eh? Um, you can have 20. You can have 46. Crappen is captain. No, I don't want him as captain. Um, I don't, except I don't have anyone else who can actually bloody captain the team. Jordan Clark. Alright. Bit of a weakened squad against Millwall. Don't really have a choice. We're knackered. Um. <coughs> That's all right. Um, we should have the man down. Excellent. We should have the the tools to beat Millwall, even with a, um, a weakened squad. And uh, I mean, they're not really making any chances at this point. It's all us. But you never know. We do love to let in that first shot of the game. I mean, we don't want to we don't want to romp the game too easy. If we were to actually save the shot, how's everyone looking? Good. Let's go. Let's kick off. Let's get back into it. Um, I'll be. Uh, we're away from home as well, so I think I'd be happy with a uh, a nil draw here. Not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. <sighs> be ready. Yes. Call it Bon off. Um, Steve McCormack has got a knee injury and centre backs seem to be dropping like flies at this point um, Jobson can come off as well so, yep, just the one shot obviously straight in the back of the net 
Whereas we need like bloody 10 before we can score a goal. Come on, let's just pinch one at the end here. No, no, no. Far out. Oops. Honestly, like one shot and a goal, nine on target. Really disappointing there, but you know, weakened team away from home. Not the end of the world. Um, anyway, guys, we'll we'll wrap it up there. Pretty decent episode. We overcame Sheffield Wednesday um, and thrashed Borough. Lost against our nemesis Colchester. We just cannot beat. Classic one all draw with United to earn a fifth round replay at Old Trafford, and then a one all draw with uh, Millwall. We're still in first place, guys. It's looking pretty good. Um, yep, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. See you then. Bye.